about to watch aviation history being made. What we're going to see here is a demonstration of a new invention for banner towing. And right now it's just being installed. This is people on the folks on the go. <laughs> and we're going to go over and watch them set it all up and see how it's going to work. You want to have an interview with the little short, but <laughs> but uh, what's your first of all, what's your last name? Testerman. Testerman? Okay. We're on. We're on? Okay. This is Vern Testerman, and he's the man who basically designed and completely constructed this apparatus. And we're going to have him explain for you exactly what's being installed and what all was involved in this. Well, like I say, you kind of caught me off guard, but uh, uh, when we decided that we had, you know, that you couldn't use it, uh, you couldn't pick them up and drop them on the airports, why well, we decided we'd just go ahead and build something on the airplane that would let the thing out, let the banner out, and then it would pull it back in. So uh, um, then we had to figure out how to mount it and how to mount it without uh, Hurt in the airplane without uh, changing things on the airplane, without boring holes and stuff. So you just start out one thing and then another, and uh, until you um, you arrive at this. So the only thing that we could do is to put the little clamps up on next to the fuselage to hold it. Then we put the one clamp up on the front end on the nose gear to uh, to brace it. And from there we have to figure out how to put the other little gadgets in. So. Is, it, is uh, this basically your idea, or did did you brainstorm with Bob? Well, How did Bob you two devise said that's it? That's what he wanted, and so uh, I said, "Well, I'll build it." <laughs> that's and you designed it yourself? Oh yeah, uh huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. As far as we know, there's never been any others that we know of like this. But uh, but um, we everything that we built on it, we've had to build for safety reasons. So I've got a little release there so that we can um, pull a little pin and drop the the main part of it out so that we don't have anything to uh, Now, if it should work exactly the way it's supposed to, what can we expect to see? Uh, you expect to see the banner come out uh, and lie horizontal behind the airplane and then it turn vertically and uh, drop down, you know, lower than the airplane. Then, when he goes to bring it back up, it should come up and turn hor back to a horizontal position and be pulled back into the airplane. That's what we're trying to achieve. So and we'll completely rewind also then, before yeah, landing. So completely wind back up into the, onto the little spool there. And uh, this is just a winch is what it is. A spool is just a, a winch that pulls the banner in, lets it out, pulls it in. Now today is the first testing of this? This is the first test. This is yeah. it. Uh -huh. Okay, well hopefully everything's going to go well then. Uh, we hope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we are. This is with Linda Cannon. She's one of the co-owners of Sky. And what she's going to do is explain to us exactly how the banner towing was performed previously and why it has become necessary for them to come about with this invention. And why don't you just go ahead and explain what's going on. Okay, well in the past how we would pick up a banner is that we would do what was called a ground pickup and we would place the banner along the ground. We would have a rope that extended out from the tail about 35 feet. We would dive through a, the pilot would come down and dive, dive through a goal post type of contraption that was about six feet high and pull, dive straight down, pull up and pick up the banner that way. Uh, the field we've been operating out of um, recently, uh, we have, wait, I can't do this. Don't, turn it off. <laughs> turn it off. Where the guy has the airplane that flaps the wings <laughs> like this, he says, okay, let her go. <laughs> he's, riding the tri he's riding the tricycle down the plank by the front house. Did you ever see that? No. Huh? <laughs> that's true. Huh? That, that's did you ever see those movies he's talking yeah. about? Uh, oh, yeah. they'd interview the people before and they tell how it was yeah. very serious yeah. about the invention. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, okay, so exactly what are you going to do up here today? Uh, exactly what we are going to do today. Let's see, we'll, let's do this in, in, in three parts. And uh, well, first of all, is, is just fly it with this and just see if there's any instability in this part, vibration wise or or anything like that, and then how much more takeoff distance it takes. 
So this is this is just so this the, the first run. That's just first run. This is a bare rack. So we're and then you'll come back and then you'll unfurl we'll put, it the second run. Then we'll put the rack. Then we'll put the. Then we'll do the real thing. Okay, great. <laughs> we'll have a couple of beers first. Ah, <laughs> relax yourself. Yeah. Thanks, Bob. Any movement in it? It just, it just sat there. Uh, uh, How about drag? Well, yeah, I don't know whether it's uh, mental or what, but it, it's. Uh, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, it, but it seemed like the airplane. We'll see what Rod said. Oh, he's come back. Uh, Were you just holding on a little bit longer? No, it took longer. It did take longer. Yeah. Oh, it looked like you're just holding it down for a while. Uh-uh, it didn't want to climb. That's what I just said. I said, boy, that took a long time. You haven't been climbing on the airspeed. You've just been flying it, haven't you? That airspeed doesn't mean a thing. Doesn't it? Nah. No. Now you tell me. <laughs> I couldn't tell you that before. I figured after you went around once, boy, you, you'd see it, so. <laughs> no, well, I... I you, huh? I never pay any attention to the airspeed until after you get to it. Yeah. Otherwise, you're set on the ground forever. Well, uh, we were thinking one thing we noticed that you seem just a little bit concerned about the safety aspect of it. To drag so much because by regular banner towing we've proven that there is no problem with uh, the drag induced by banner towing. I think it's more uh, the uh, process of reeling it out and reeling it in and that it may catch on something or get fouled. It may foul, it could foul perhaps an elevator or foul something on the plane, which even if it did, you could come in and land with it fouled up, but it would still maybe uh, affect the control of the aircraft and that, that is what my main concern is. It's not the drag per se, it's that the tangled, that the banner may get tangled while it's being rolled in or out. So like on a scale of one to ten on danger, how would you rate this? I actually, you're asking the wrong person because I don't, I don't. You don't want to know. know. <laughs> my, my that what bothers me is that this plane is underpowered, and so with power, you have a lot more safety margin. But because it seemed to take a long time taking off. No question about it, and that's bad news. I mean, even and that didn't have the banner on. Well, Vern said he's not flying home. That's how bad he feels about the airplane <laughs> <laughs> without the banner. Yeah, we're towing it, right? <laughs> so that's the main concern, uh, you know. Okay, now. Supposing everything works out perfectly, it mm -hmm. unfurls exactly the way you want it to, it refurls exactly the way it's very operable, what will be the next step in marketing it or whatever? Very heavy celebration, probably about a week of parties. <laughs> After the drunk, <laughs> drunken yeah. binge, After the practically drunken speaking, what we, we do. We will specifically purchase two aircraft for the express purpose of converting these into this type of aircraft. They do have to be modified, yes, the aircraft. they do have to be modified. We will purchase the two aircraft, we will modify them, and we will uh, then the next thing is to uh, streamline this and get the FAA to approve it. And now what type of aircraft will you be purchasing for this? It probably will be a 172. It will be now a that's tricycle. That's the one you're buying with, with Jim and I. Yes, yeah, right. right. <laughs> and the other one, not, I, it that won't be a tail. It does. We have like our own aircraft, the steerman, we figured we couldn't use because it's a tail dragger. So we do know that it will be a tricycle gear aircraft. And then you'll then you're we, you're going to apply for a patent, I assume. Yeah, apply for a patent legally, and uh, to our knowledge, it, it has never get been FAA it. approval. Get the FAA approval, and then we will uh, continue selling our product as always. And the customer uh, actually benefits from this because he gets more flying time. We can fly to a destination with the banner rolled up at 110, 120 miles an hour versus when we have the banner out, we're only flying 60 or 60. Okay, now in addition to the 